just have to stand down and, until Wednesday, unfortunately. Okay, what can I do? <coughs> so you want us to postpone to Wednesday? Yes, uh, I think that will be the... Um... Okay, yeah, make the application so that when the JP complains, I can refer him to your application about the fact that there was nothing I could do. Yes. Yeah, I think it will be the, the 18th. Hello? Yes, it will be the, the, the 18th of September. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there's, before we adjourn for the day, there are about two aspects that we want to deal with. Uh, okay. So, are they be, are they, will they be both coming to court? Yes, on, 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 Wednesday. on Wednesday, yes. Okay, what's the view of this defense? We have no objection. No objection. No objection. I have no objection, thank you. No objection, I don't. I'm sure you have an objection not to be paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm told that uh, the state intends, not the state, the defense intends cross examining Ms. Hrobla and Mr. or General, Lieutenant General Ntini. But unfortunately, it appears they are involved in other duties in other courts. Consequently, they are not able to attend court on either Monday or Tuesday. They will be available on Wednesday. And that is beyond the control of this court. Okay, so the application then for a postponement regarding what exigency is granted, the matter will proceed on Wednesday for both Ms. Rita Frobla and Ntini, Mr. Output <laughs> Start. As a court, please, my lord. Um, yeah. We have the view that the cross examination, without having to, to, to trammel my learned friend's right of cross examination, but should be limited to the microscopic opinion that they gave and to, um, to avoid any um, misconceptions, my lord. We submit that. that that the parameters should be set for the cross-examination, that it will just be based on their, their findings. I can't make such an order. Ma ma macro microscopic opinion. I can't make such an order, okay? As the court pleases. Then th there's one aspect that you want to deal with, my lord. Um, there is exhibit triple L in bracket one. That is the affidavit of uh, Captain a. M. Bentley. Bentley. Yes. We were desirous of uh, calling him. Um, however, we have consulted with him this morning, mm -hmm. and he has fin finished us with a medical certificate. Um, he is not in the position to, to testify, my lord. We just beg leave to hand up. Forever. The, <coughs> yes. Hello? Yes. Forever. Yes, forever, my lord. Okay. We, uh, we beg leave to hand up the <coughs> medical documentation as exhibit yep. triple L. The defense in, is yes. has been finished for this Yes, day. yes, they've been finished, my lord. Um, 
As a result of the condition mentioned in paragraph 1, um, he is not in a position to testify. Yes, Mr. Mugomezul, what's your view? <coughs> My lord, I confirm that I have received this uh, document this morning from yes. my colleague and I have not consulted with my client regarding the contents therein. Okay. My lord, I was of the view that I will in this this aspect should be also suspended until Wednesday so that you can be afforded an opportunity to to liaise the contents thereof with our clients, with my client. Court, please. Okay, so we'll deal with this on Wednesday. That's okay, Mr. That's my request. Well, there is time today, my lord. I, mean, I say there is time today. No, but he says he hasn't consulted with his client, Mr. Mzumbomezu. And Mr. Ramasipiri? My lord, I personally do not have an objection to this uh, being admitted. To being? To being admitted as an exhibit. Uh, it speaks for itself. Mr. Nisip? As it please the court, my lord, on the content of the document, as is, I mean, of the document, as is, I don't think we'll have a problem. There are no basis on which to challenge it on behalf of accuse number three. Thank you. And um, Mama Alo? On behalf of uh, Mr. Mapisa, I have no objection if the document is handed in. Thank you. Mnyeki? My lord, on, on behalf of accuse number five, I also do not have any objection. Okay, then, Mr. Ngomezulu's response. Was it postponed until Wednesday? Is it okay? As the court pleases, and, and, and just one last aspect. Uh, we've updated the, the, the list of uh, exhibits. We just beg leave to hand up the updated list. My colleagues have been provided with the list. Okay. What is new is that paragraph on page 5, it could be slightly different. It's uh, paragraph 61. Page 5. Yeah, uh, paragraph 61. So there could be slight differences. <clears throat> that is page 6. Yes, yeah. M mine is the original one. So okay. it's paragraph 61. Exhibit X in brackets 13 in brackets E6. That is the image of uh, exhibit E1, is a test bullet marked 369TB5 with highlighted stroke number striations. Okay. Then paragraph 62, exhibit X in brackets 13, exhibit E7 to E9. Those are the images of exhibit, exhibits E2 to E5. That is test bullet marked 369TB9 with highlighted stroke numbered striations. Okay. Then also what is new, um, paragraph 120, 120. And this is what we've just dealt with. Exhibit triple L in bracket one. This is the affidavit of Captain A. L. Bentley dated 3 December 2014. Okay. Then um, exhibit triple L one in brackets A will be the medical records that we've just ended up. Okay. Then paragraph 121 is exhibit triple L in brackets 2. <laughs> that is the affidavit of Warren Officer A.S. Montuedi, dated 3 November 2014. And paragraph 122, exhibit triple L in brackets 3 are the images by Mr. Dave uh, Peterson, the defense ballistic expert. Uh, depicting striation marks on the exhibit and um, the um, the test bullet, the 
exhibit bullet is marked as 217267-82. stroke Then paragraph 123, exhibit triple L in bracket 4 is the request by Mayor uh, Bayat, dated 23 February 2015, addressed to the Forensic Science Laboratory for IBIS comparison. Then paragraph 124 is exhibit triple L in brackets 5 is the literature on formulation and adoption of theory of identification as it relates to two marks by the Association of Firearm and Tool Mark Examiners in brackets AFTE. Then paragraph 125, exhibit triple M. It's the ballistic report by Lieutenant Colonel O.E. Sereo, dated 5 September 2023. It replaces my lot the previous exhibit X13F, as we've explained. Uh -huh. Then paragraph 126, exhibit triple M in brackets 1. Is a court chart by Lieutenant Colonel O.E. Sereo depicting the test bullet marked 369 TB8, consists of images 1 up to 6. Then paragraph 127, exhibit triple M in brackets 2, is a court chart by Lieutenant Colonel Sereo depicting test bullet marked. 369 TB4. It consists of uh, six images, one up to six. Then paragraph 128, it's the, um, the two exhibits that were handed in this morning. Exhibit triple N is the affidavit of Captain R. Hrobla, formerly um, We've mentioned um, her maiden surname. Uh, I'm just I'm not going to put it on record. Um, it's an affidavit in terms of section 212 in brackets 4 of Act 51 of 1977, giving the microscopic opinion on the findings of Lieutenant Colonel Ma Mangena. Then. Uh, Paragraph 129 is exhibit triple O. It's the 212 in brackets for affidavit in um, of Act 51 of 1977 by Captain M.E. Ntini of the ballistic section of uh, the Forensic Science Lab giving microscopic opinion on the findings of Lieutenant Colonel Mangena. Okay. Yes. Thank you. The, the, those are the new additions to the exhibit list. Yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> the end of the business day. Yes. Indeed, Marlon. Okay. Yes. Wednesday. Yes.